And here's the truth about every great person. Every great man and woman has to rise above the pain of their past to reach their God-given destiny. You know, you've heard of the strong silent type. There is no strong silent type. They're the weak silent type. Because strong people talk. They get it out. They deal with it. They admit it. Everyone has pain. All of us have pain. Everyone has had devastating things happen to them, or at least very painful things happen to them. Everybody has. Rejection of father and mother, abandonment, rejection by the opposite sex, the divorce of parents, adultery, death of parents, or loved ones prematurely, abuse, rejection by siblings or friends, social rejection, failure in academics, athletics, or business, physical problems or handicaps, having no one who cares about you, just loneliness. Everyone has pain. And here are some of the common but non-caring things that people do with pain. We all have pain. But in our pain, we have to decide how are we gonna deal with our pain? These are some of the ways that people deal with pain that don't work and they medicate it. Alcohol, drugs, food, sex, entertainment, gambling. But when you have pain and you have not dealt with that pain properly, substances become a way to medicate that pain. And our, our society is full of devastated people who are medicating their, their issue. The Apostle Paul, one of the greatest men in church history, but he didn't start out that way. He was mean-spirited. He was legalistic. He was holier than thou, and he persecuted and killed Christians. He had pain, and he just came out and said it. I was a Pharisee. I persecuted Christians. But that's not an easy confession for a man whose ministry was a ministry of grace. You have, you have to face it. But let me say this. Greatness in God's kingdom is not how many great things you can do for God. Greatness in God's kingdom begins with how many scars you allow him to redeem. We've been redeemed from sexual sin. We've been redeemed from alcoholism. We've redeemed from divorce and from family breakdown. We've been redeemed from personal problems and failures. We've been redeemed. Am I telling the truth this morning? Am I? This is who we, I'm not ashamed of it. I was ashamed of it, but I'm not ashamed of it. And let me just tell you something. No one can reach those people like a person who's been redeemed. And I heard this saying one time, never follow a general without scars. And thank God our general has scars. Don't, don't, ever, don't ever follow some poser that pretends as though they don't have any problems and they're above everything. Don't ever do that. If you don't have any scars that have been redeemed by Jesus, you can't help anybody because you haven't been helped yet. Let me say something. You can be the end of pain in your family if you'll stand up and face it and let God deal with it. When Karen and I got married, we decided we're the end of pain. We're not gonna be the transmitters of pain to another generation. We're gonna face our pain and let Jesus deal with it so our children and grandchildren have a better future. And so the people around us can get help from us where we've been comforted rather than us sitting and acting like we're something we're not and transmitting pain and watching people suffer when we won't admit that we've been there and done that.